Hello and welcome to another Rocket Note tutorial. In this video, I will show you the ultimate guide on how to create a Minecraft server, such as installation and how to set up different versions including vanilla, spigot and paper. Let's get straight into it. Minecraft servers come in various forms, each with its own unique features and functionalities. From vanilla servers that provide the authentic Minecraft experience to modded servers that introduce new gameplay elements, there is a wide array of server types to choose from. Understanding the distinction between server types such as Pigot, Forge and more will help you determine which one aligns with your vision. If you're planning to have a new and complete Minecraft experience on your server, it's essential to explore the different server type available. Vanilla servers offer the pure and unaltered Minecraft gameplay, allowing you to play the game as it was originally designed. On the other hand, if you're seeking to change up your gameplay with additional features, modded servers are the way to go. These servers, you in these servers enable you to install mods that introduce new gameplay mechanics, items, and even entire dimensions, providing a fresh and exciting twist to your Minecraft adventures. If neither of those options suit you, Spigot might be the best choice for you. While keeping an authentic feel to your server, hosting your server using a Spigot server enables you to keep vanilla players interested, while also attracting new players which search for a more altered experience. In order to buy a Minecraft server, all you have to do is to go to rocketnote.com and you'll be greeted by our homepage. From here, go to Minecraft Hosting, and at Rocketnote we offer two plans, a budget plan and a premium one, the difference being in the price and the specs on the server that you get. Let's use the budget plan for this example. Let's say that we want 12GB of RAM. That would cost us 12 bucks per month, whereas on the premium plan, 12GB of RAM are $40. Let's go with 12GB of RAM on the budget plan and the server to be located in New York. You will be redirected to our billing page. From here you can choose to pay monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or annually. And you can also choose between two additional services that we offer, those being priority support and dedicated ports. For this example let's go with dedicated ports as we want the Minecraft default port 25565. And now all that's left to do is to press continue and pay for the server, it's that easy. After purchasing the server, go to panel.rocketnode.net and here you'll see all the game servers that you have bought from Rocketnode. In this case, we'll have the Minecraft server, let's go on it. And this is it, you already have a vanilla Minecraft server that your friends or players can connect to. It's this easy with Rocketnode. With our innovative version changer, you can now effortlessly switch between different Minecraft versions with just a simple click of a button. Say goodbye to the hassle of manual installations or searching for specific game files to experience a different version of Minecraft. Let me show you how to do it, it's very simple. After opening your Minecraft server panel, navigate, by the way, make sure your server is turned off. If it's not, just press on the stop button. But after that, navigate to the version changer and from here you just choose the Minecraft version that you want on your server. For this example, let's go with, I don't know, let's do paper. We just choose the version 1.19.1 and press on the install button. Confirm it. And there you go, version changed successfully. All that's left to do is go to the console and start your Minecraft server. It's this easy at Rocket Node. Now that we have a Spigot version of our server, let's install a plugin. Installing plugins has never been easier thanks to our plugin installer which eliminates the need of having to navigate over to Spigot's plugin page in order to install them. You can install custom plugins on your server by manually dropping them into the plugins folder if you do not wish to use our installer, but let's say you want to make use of it. All you have to do is go to panel.rocketnode.net, select the Minecraft server, and from your console page, which again I recommend having your server turned off when installing plugins, just go to plugin installer. From here you have an infinite range of plugins that you can install with just one click on your Minecraft server. Reinstalling your server might be necessary at any point if you need a fresh start on your files or simply something isn't working. However, be careful as this setting can remove your files and you might lose the progress made on your server. What you have to do in order to reinstall your server is, after your server being turned off, go to settings and you have the big red button that everyone knows. You just press reinstall server, confirm it, and there you go. This is the process of reinstalling your Minecraft server. Databases are essentially duplicates of important files or information that are stored in separate location from the original data. By creating and regularly updating backups, you can ensure that in the event of a disaster, you will still have access to your important files and data. Now let me show you how to create one. After choosing the server you want to create a data back, a backup for, 
go to the backup section, press the create backup button, and put a name for it. I suggest using a name that suggests you what the backup is for. For example, let's go with a first backup on the 23rd. There you go. Now just press the start button. And there you go. Here you have your backup saved. It's this easy. Creating a Minecraft server is an exciting and rewarding experience that allows you to build a community, explore endless possibilities, and share your creation with others. By following the step-by-step -step guide provided in this video, you can establish a server that meets your needs and preferences. And this is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.